Previously on the Boy Scout playthrough, we traversed the treacherous land of cannibals, berserkers, and more, stealing food along the way as to not starve. And after finally making it to the lush valley of Okrin's pride, we settled a small outpost where we stored the many treasures that we stole from nearby towns on a nightly basis. Today, we'll look to form the Boy Scout Empire, but with a population of mostly children, can our nation compete amongst other world powers without practicing child labor? Find out now! So, we need to go stealing for some groceries, but I'm too lazy to wait till nighttime. So we're gonna attempt our first daytime robbery. Now that we can run at like 50 miles per hour, it doesn't even matter if we get caught, because we can just run away. Alright buddy, here I come. Here goes nothing. So we're trying to find some iron plates, so that we can build a machine that will let us make iron plates, so that we don't have to steal them anymore. You feel me? Well, let's knock this guy out real quick. Uh oh, so the door's closed right now. If we can manage to beat these guys real quick, like we're good, we can keep stealing. We're not super strong though, so it's gonna be tough. Bro, what's this guy doing here, man? Dude was just in the neighborhood, thought he stopped by. Yeah, I'm out of here. See you, nerds. I found a couple extra plates in storage, so luckily we can still build it. Hold up, are we getting raided? Man, I do not have time for this, bro. Who invited these guys? We don't have any money, so we can't pay them off, but I got another idea. Excuse me, sir, hold this. <laughs> Hold this, please. Uh, Can you hold this? Oof. Hey, think fast. Whoa! Please hold. Uh-oh, this guy caught on. It's all right, though. He'll make a good training dummy. Happy oh. feet! Happy combo feet. combo! That ain't Falco! That ain't Falco! Oh! 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 Tonight, we're taking a trip to the Deadlands, looking for some of that high-tier masterwork loot. So I've decided to equip my acid-resistant drip so that we don't get burned. So here we are at the scrap house. This place has really good loot. It's just kind of dangerous because it's heavily guarded. But after finding a gap in the defense, stealing was no problem for your boy. So these first couple of lockers had a lot of cool weapons, but nothing I was super excited about willing to take home. Where I really wanted to go was these ancient safes back here, but I knew it was going to be dangerous with all these guards right here. All right, screw it. I'm going for it. Come on, let's do this. So we got a pretty good chance of getting seen right here. Oh, nice. They don't see me. Whew. I was going to say we could just grab it and run. Let's see what we get. Ooh, yo, look at all these crossbows. Nice. Ended up snagging this old world bow mark II masterwork. Got some research artifacts. And then to top it off, I picked up this gigantic mace. Shortly after that, we got caught. We didn't have a chance to loot everything, but luckily we were able to get out safely. But I knew I had to come back and pick up some more loot later. So that morning I came back and they instantly caught me. And this time we took a couple harpoon shots on the way out, so that's not very good. So I decided to check up on my child laborers and it turns out I've been a bad scout master dude. I've been so busy stealing fun trinkets and toys that I forgot to steal some food and they're starting to get hungry. And since I'm so far away, I'm gonna send Timmy to try and steal some food for the boys. Now, Timmy's not on Itachi's level, but he's not bad, all right? He might be able to pull this off. All right, let's see what we got in here. Wait, huh? <laughs> we came here looking for food, but we found the milk truck. Boys, another successful raid. Now, we didn't actually steal anything, but trust me, we succeeded. And around that time, Itachi was about to come home, dropping off all the supplies, heal up a little bit so we can send him back out there. Your boy was snoozing soundly, resting his injuries. And then we got raided again. So I decided it would be a good time to test out that new crossbow, but unfortunately for them, we only need one volunteer, so let's thin out this crowd. All right, let's try this out. It's the Old World Bow Mark II, 89 damage drop, not bad. Here comes shot number two. Oh, 140. Yo, oh, he's dying. That man's dying. Man, I'm just trying to feed my child laborers, dude. Don't you understand? I'm stealing mid-fight, bro. All right, hit him with the hit. He staggered. Now we're gonna pick this lock before he can get to me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him limp, dude. What a terrible shop guard, bro. I'm picking locks right in front of his face. Now that we got the food, we're just gonna do a little bit of crossbow training on the way out. Got the kids fed, put them back to work, and now we're back here at the scrap house looking to steal. Holy sh**, dude. It's a masterwork harpoon gun. Yo, these things are so OP. Also found this crazy Optimus Prime looking helmet. It's actually got some of the best stats I've ever seen. It looks pretty OP. Alright, but for real, we gotta test out this harpoon gun. Alright, here it goes. <laughs> 409 damage dude. <laughs> let's see how it does against the armor dude oh dude the quick scope oh he's dying so that quick scope actually has me thinking something that we should try so you see my reloading thing over there we're gonna let it get as close to shooting as possible oh shoot all right we uh, <laughs> we shot prematurity huh? my bad let's try that again so yeah, we're gonna get this reloaded all the way to the very tip 
All right, now that we have a shot that's one frame away from shooting, it should be just ready to blow. Now my theory is we can just bring this harpoon and go quick scope the president in game. All right, holy lord phoenix, you kill my father. Prepare to die. Wait, that's not him. Where is he? All right, I can't find him. We'll just shoot this guy. Whoo! Yo. Yo, it works. We hit him in the leg unfortunately, but it works too. Whoo! We can assassinate freaking world leaders with this in game. But this is high key like a good strat. From now on, I'm just gonna perma keep a harpoon reloaded for when I need it. All right, let's assassinate whoever's in here. Hold this. Oh, yo. Dude, their armor block's too much, man. I might need like three or four people with harpoon guns. Well, it's just nice knowing we got a good way to assassinate people at least. All right, boys, first assassination about to happen. We're getting raided. This dude's looking to make some diplomatic negotiations. Unfortunately, we ain't got any plata. So we're gonna give this guy some plomo. All right, here it goes. Woo! Yo, no time to react and he's dead. That is a dead man. And these guys aren't very tough. We should be able to win this. We got pretty even numbers, but our guys are just better. Like, not only are their stats better, but we have such good equipment. Because we've been stealing every night, bro. This is the start of something beautiful. This is the time when we stop losing and start winning. Here's the last guy. His arm doesn't work. Oh, but he's blocking like a madman. Easy. <laughs> Here we get Timmy, dude. Pummeling bandits is actually kind of therapeutic. True. Very true, Timmy. So this dude has some masterwork scout legs that I really want to steal. Only problem is he's just as fast as me because we got the same legs. Uh-oh. You better not go in that water. Because <laughs> I got a shot ready for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Give me them legs, boy. So we got a couple of things I'm going to... I'm gonna... So we got a couple of things I'm gonna... so we got a couple of things I'm gonna be looking to do in the next couple days. I really want to find a new place for like an industrial settlement where we can build weapons and armor and stuff. And I also want to start getting some new recruits. I'm gonna be trying to recruit just like the weakest people we can as to not break the game. But we need some more child laborers. I also want to move because these holy nation freaks, man, they're just driving the property value down, having gang wars literally in my front lawn. Luckily, I was able to capture and recruit one of them, so we managed to convert him into a child laborer, which is pretty sweet. Unfortunately, the recruitment mod was being a little bit buggy, so it was actually kind of tough to recruit these guys, but whenever we had an opportunity to do so, we did it, and we're gonna do it. After a couple of days, we managed to recruit four new child laborers. I don't think that's gonna be enough, so I'm sending them out with one of the newbies, and they're gonna go try and free some slaves and make them join us. Upon arriving to the United Cities, I found this place called Tengu's Vault, and I've definitely seen it a lot in my playthroughs, but I've never actually gone through the hassle of infiltrating it, so we're gonna try that out today and see what it's actually all about. I honestly have no idea what's in here. So I left my Fortnite Pro 12 year old outside, and I went ahead and approached the vault. First thing I did was knock out the gate captain, because they've always got some really good armor. I went around searching the vault for treasure, but to be honest, the loot was pretty mid. Oh shoot, this chick's gonna see me, come on. Oh, yo! I shot her with the crossbow. Yo! <laughs> That's actually sick, dude. You charge up your shots, you get a freebie when you get caught. I was looking to see where they're hiding the treasure, and it turns out this place is a giant prison with tons of dudes in here. And I think this could be the place where we can find some new recruits. But those samurais were looking for me, so I hid under this mushroom with my boy and traded him some of that gear I stole earlier. After some time had passed, I made my ascent and started knocking these guys out to set up for my master plan. After that, I made my way up into the vault and just started lock picking my homies out of this place. We found a couple cool dudes in this jail, like this guy, who was in prison for disemboweling humans, so we had to break him out. Now, personally, I had no problem sneaking around, but my boys kept getting caught, so I had the bright idea to knock them all out and actually put the samurai in their own cages. So I did notice that this guy was a samurai because he was naked, but he set the alarm off on us. But luckily, I had a shot ready to go, and my homie on the left took him out. We ended up breaking out with a pretty sizable group. The gate guards had woken up by now, so I had to go knock them all out again. After we had finally made it a little ways away, one of the guys started talking to me. 15 years I've been locked up in that place. Say, Tengu still running the empire these days? It's been a while. I owe him a visit. But a lot can change in 15 years. I'm gonna need you. This time we won't fail. And then this guy joined our party, boys. All right, welcome to the club. I don't know when we're gonna do it, but we gotta take out the United Cities this playthrough. I came back to find that my Fortnite 12 year old had almost died. <laughs> but all that matters is that he didn't die because we were able to save him. Then a couple of these dust bandits decided to go on their own way after we saved them. But then I noticed in the morning that this Hiver guy also decided to join us. 
With so many mouths to feed, I was getting kind of nervous, but I ended up finding out that bars just have pretty much unlimited food. The next day, I found this flat little area nearby that had a ton of different resources like iron and copper. So this would make a great place to build our next industrial area. I slapped some blueprints down for a small house and started building. That same day, we had a really tough raid from the Holy Nation. The fight literally went on till the next day. Sadly, one of our newer recruits didn't make it and died in the river. Everybody else was fine, so once the coast was clear, I started lugging their unconscious bodies across the desert towards the new outpost. By that next morning, we finally had everything we would need at our new base. We got immediately bum-rushed by some starving bandits, but they stood no match to our superior force. However, there was a Holy Nation ambush on the way, ready to clap our cheeks. We had a couple people lose their arms and legs in that fight, so I sent my man Itachi to the Deadlands to go secure some prosthetics. I stole a bunch of really good masterwork arms, but I was most excited for this masterwork steady hand arm, which gives a fat buff to crossbows. I'm gonna need to be amputating Itachi's arms real quick so we can put this on him. To pull this off, I roll up to the Fog Islands, where the Fogman there will actually eat your limbs off of you for free. Boys, this is what's known as a mutually beneficial transaction. Here comes arm number one. See ya. Here comes number two. Oh, he just ate it. All right, while we're out here, I thought we might go try and get beep. All right, we're coming up on Mongrel, and it looks like these guys are our enemies, so I'm not actually sure if this is gonna work. All right, I've located beep. He's right here. Let's see if he beeps at us. Come on. Come on, beep. Just say something to me, please. Come on. <laughs> what you say? Don't worry, guys. I didn't kill beep, but we can't recruit him. It sucks. So to get this economy really popping, we need some more child labor. So I'm gonna get some more recruits. I set down some prisoner cages next to the house and we were ready to go. I went to the nearby Holy Nation mining camp and for some reason, they only had one slave. So we had to kidnap him and then recruit him. I wanna start building my own armor. So I'm building this station house right here as a center for all of our arts and crafts and whatnot. This new crossbow limb is actually helping a lot. Like, look at that dude. We just shot that guy's arm off. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> but yeah, it's super clutch. It makes you do more damage and we reload a lot faster. Like, look at this dude. Get a shot off quick. Hold up. Boom. I set up a little cotton farm because we're gonna need some fabrics to build this armor. I'm sending our boy Itachi on a super dangerous faraway mission, so he's gonna be gone for a little bit. Real question is though, does he hit these? Miss! Y'all didn't see that, let's try again. Ooh, yo! That's a headshot, that guy's dead in 10 seconds. The next day, we finally had our blacksmith set up, and our empire hating buddy was gonna be the blacksmith. That same morning, we arrived at the nation of the skin stealers so we could get that peeler machine blueprint from them. We finally found some masterwork assassin's rags. Thank goodness, we've been rocking shoddy grade this whole time. <laughs> so this is gonna be a huge upgrade. After that, there was still one more place I wanted to hit up before we headed back. I really want to steal the blueprints for the Crab Raider armor. It's some really good armor, but we can't really join these guys because we're at war with everybody. But I think we can still find it and steal it. Blueprint secured. Let's go see if the queen's got any good loot. I've never knocked her out before. Here goes nothing. Doink. All right, we got a Meitu Naginata. That's not bad. So I got Itachi as encumbered as he can, and we're trying to train his strength up a little bit right now. It's going to take him a while to get home, but it'll be worth it for the stats. In the meantime, we just kept on developing our base and started preparing to produce armor. When he finally got back, I started dripping out all my homies in the brand new equipment that we just stole. Then we went and stole as much food as we could from our neighbors. And then enraged because I got caught, I just started murdering random people. Then once 12 finally showed up, I made my swift escape. I really wanted to get these peeler machines so that we'd have an easy way to execute these high paladins after we knock them out. They always wake up and just start beating people up and it's annoying, so this will come in clutch. That night we got raided by some sheks, but they forgot to arrive all at the same time, so we were able to take them out one by one. Bro, I was removing the limbs of their leader for fun, and I realized that they bleed like a lot. Like, look at all that blood down there. And it made me think. You could probably draw something with all this blood, dude. You can <laughs> paint some pictures. Later that night, I took a step back and just enjoyed how nice my base was starting to look. I wanted to draw some more silly shapes on my base, so I went to the Holy Nation capital to look for the person with the most blood that I could find. We found this dude who's got almost 150 blood, so we shoved him in the crayon sharpener to get ready to go. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Y'all can help me get out the hood by leaving a 
like and a comment. If you want to download the mods that I play with, you can find my mod list in completion inside of my Discord, which I've linked inside the description. I know y'all don't want to miss next week's episode, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And as always, it's your boy Lil Tapatio. Thanks for watching. Peace.